guess what? The Minimalists are going on tour with a live version of The Minimalists podcast. And I want to invite you to join us for a night of less. Find your nearest city at theminimalists.com slash tour. We'll see you there. All right, Casey writes in, how do you stop yourself from accumulating more clutter once you get everything cleaned up? Okay, so we often treat minimalism as though it is a destination, but it is not a destination. It is a vehicle that brings you to your destination, right? And so uh, once you get there, so to speak, you're at a new you're at a new place, but your life will continue to change. When I first embraced minimalism at age 28, I was recently divorced and my mother had just died. I moved to an apartment on my own. I was letting go of things that was all about me and and my lifestyle. But my life changed over time. By the way, I was still in the corporate world, so I had to have a certain number of dress shirts and ties and suits and dress shoes. Those things stopped adding value to my life when I walked away from the corporate world. Mm. And so the best way that you can do it is you can continue to ask important questions. And uh, there are five questions I always ask before buying something new. I'm not going to go through all five of those right now, but you can find those at theminimalists.com slash before. We'll put a link to that in the show notes. And you can also download the free wallpaper with that. So you can have it right there on your phone or your computer before you're about to buy something. You can look at your phone and say, okay, will this thing add value to my life? Is it the best use of this money, et cetera, et cetera. There are five really important questions to ask before bringing something in your life. Because once you've decluttered, you don't want to reclutter. Yeah, what you're talking about, Josh, is setting up rules for yourself. And part of those questions, I mean, that's a rule. I'm going to ask myself these questions before I buy something.